Hello. So, whilst the Tree of Saviour website is bugged down, there doesn't seem to be a better time to tell people how to play an official KRO. That is, Korean Ragnarok Online. Wait, playing on KRO? Isn't that next to impossible? Give me some proof. Well, here you go. I'd have to be pretty dedicated to fake all of this, and I'll mention some things that'll prove that I'm not working for any of the helpful people I mentioned that got me here. But just so that you don't skip through all the video, I'm going to be giving out all sorts of tips along the way so you don't make any mistakes. Firstly, if too many people connect without a virtual private network, the people running KRO are going to start getting suspicious. I'm sure one person connecting from across the world looks like a person on holiday, but sudden surge of millions of people, they might start locking foreign connections. But on with how to get in. First, you have to go to OBT Game. And you can click the picture in this video to get that open in a new tab while I'm talking, for bookmarking or for buying later. Once there, you want to look for a page with Ragnarok Online. It was on the first page you get to at the time of making the video. Now, they charge $9 for an account that's random, or $3 more for a custom username and password. As you log in through the game's website, you never type out your account more than once, if you've got your browser to remember your passwords. And no one ever sees it in-game, so it's up to you. But there's also more to keep in mind, so keep watching. Now, you might be asking yourself, why not just play on the other versions of RO? Well, the other versions are mismanaged, often selling and renting boss cards and gear. They often are up to six years out of date. And even when they are patched, they're so piecemeal that the patches aren't done correctly. IRO doesn't even have the correct attack speed animations, and never will. What a mess. This way, you're actually playing the game from the source. Okay, so you just paid OBT gain, but then what? Well, on the PayPal page, you get to leave a note for the seller, which if you aren't paranoid that PayPal are going to steal your RO account, you can leave them a username and password you want there, and you should tell them if you want your account to be signed up as a man or a woman, as that will determine the gender of all your characters forever. Now, here is a pitfall I'm going to help you avoid. I was paranoid that PayPal would steal my RO account for some reason, and didn't leave a username and password on the PayPal page for the seller, and instead had just been relying on emailing OBT support before and after I made my account. And they actually did it wrong and gave me a really random username and password, but they kindly took that account back and corrected it for me. They may not do the same thing for everyone, so be safe and email them too. Okay, next up we're going to want a client to play the game on. First I'll show you how to get the game installed in Korean, and then how to get the English translation on. This first thing is an ActiveX installer. Uh, just unzip it, and then click Next. Then click Next. Tick the agreement to let it use your ActiveX controller you just installed, and then click Next. This is their client installer client. Allow that. Once you've got the downloader, you want to allow it through your firewall, and then click the button that I've marked to start the download. This is your 2GB installer. Click Next. Agree to the terms and conditions, and that will light up the grey Next button. This one says Install. And the Finish button. Make sure you run set at once before trying to run the game. Here is a translated version of the entire menu. Okay, now that you're fully installed, you go to the website, make sure you're logged in, and hit Game Start. This is a menu to select whether you want to play on the regular servers, the test servers, or watch a replay from the client. And the top left button there is the regular servers. When you try and click Play here, it will um, say that you're missing a component, and to allow it through. Uh, you just do that one more time, I'll send you back to the download page. But you won't actually need to download anything there, it's just an installer on your web browser, and then it's straight back through Game Start, Select Server, and you're in. You'll start patching. Item translation is really easy, and you can see from the picture. And a big thanks to the people at Hercules, I only knew the gist of what I was supposed to do, and they pointed me in the right direction. First download the GitHub repository as zip, navigate to the folder called System, and get the file called itemInfo.lua, Put it in your KRO system folder. Back up your KRO system folders itemInfo.lub and rename itemInfo.lua to itemInfo.lub. Pretty simple. As for the rest of the game, 
I'm told it's fully translatable, but you have to edit a .grf file, and although I had some success with it, I also failed due to my own mistakes. So I'm going to leave a space right here on the video that will become a click link on how to do it. Shouldn't take more than five minutes for someone to do a picture by picture guide the correct way. You'll notice once you try and make a character, you'll see this screen, and this screen is the second password to set. It's four numbers of your choosing, do it once, click this button, do it a second time, click the same button, and now your password's set, you've got to do it one more time to log in, and occasionally the game will ask you to input this, so remember it, for the love of your deity, do not lose this. No one else can help you if you lose this number. From board to KRO in five and a half minutes. Here are three ways you can help me out. Watch this video, but you just did. But watch it one more time tomorrow though, for Dean. Link the video on Reddit. Believe it or not, I don't even use Reddit. But it's been my dream to have a video that I made go viral. And you could send me any amount of money on PayPal. I, I don't live well. I've never even laid a hand on a smartphone. And most people have had every version of the iPhone.